So classically when I show a tutorial, I've been using uh, things like the connection editor uh, to make connections. Connection editor, of course, is available under general editors, connection editor. However, in the, uh, when you're using the connection editor, it actually has a lot of subtle set settings that often go missed, as, uh, as do many of my tools. So if I was going to, say, create some uh, utility notes to connect, I'd have to bring up my rendering editors and bring up Hypershade and make them from there, or I could even go to a window and I can choose the create node window and then I can actually create nodes from there. Now the only problem with creating nodes in these two ways is I do have to be in the connection editor to select them and to easily make connections. Um, or I'd actually have to have them both selected at the same time. I mean, basically, it's a little harder to work with them. So, not long ago, Maya actually introduced a brand new editor. Uh, basically, it's a, I'd say it's a variation on the Hypershade, uh, something I've actually seen in other programs called the Node Editor. Uh, so here we have the node editor. Here's a blink colors node that I just created. Now the great thing about the node editor is I can simply left click on these large white dots that you see on the either end of the node and it'll actually show you the available attributes that you have to uh, connect, whether it's feeding in or feeding out of the node. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, and as you can see, you can double click on it and bring it up in the attribute editor if you want to actually look at it that way as well. So if I wanted to, I can also right click just in the node space and I can tell it to create a node and it'll bring up my create node window. So I can easily come in here and go to utilities and I can create let's say a multiply divide node if I wanted one just by clicking on it. Close my window out and so now I have two nodes and let's say I wanted to feed the output from my multiply divide node into my blend colors node. Simply left click and it'll actually give you an assortment of uh, attributes that you can actually connect. Now of course you can connect let's say all of the output directly to any specific input here on the colors node. However, I've actually found in Maya that sometimes it has a problem uh, maintaining some of those connections if you just do a general cluster of connections. Usually it is best to connect individual attributes, but even doing that, it's actually pretty easy to do. So I can just simply left click and there's no reloading. I just simply left click and choose the attribute I want to connect and make the connections. Just that simple. And so I've made those three connections, and it'll actually indicate all of them right here, just using these arrows. And I can actually expand what you, you can actually expand what you're seeing here simply by selecting one of the nodes, and then you can just click on this input output connections button, and it will sort of clean up the display a little bit and show you what's going on. And so it's actually pretty easy to make all the connections that you need to make, and you can expand everything here as well to clarify what connections are being made. Now as you can see here I actually made a mistake with this connection so I need to actually break that so I can just simply click on the arrow and then hit my delete key to get rid of it. I believe I can also um, just make a new connection so I could actually come in and go to input Z and just left click and hold on it since it's expanded and then I can just drag it to connect it to where I want to make the connection and automatically delete the other connection. So the node editor is actually a much more uh, much more efficient way to see and to make connections between nodes, objects, controls of all kinds. Now another thing about the group of a node editor is that you can even take objects that aren't nodes and load them in easily. So let's say I have a cube. See even just creating it since I have a node editor window open, it just loads the geometry in there immediately. And uh, even though it's geometry, uh, like any object created in Maya, it does have many parts. Um, it also has attributes that you can connect. 
So you need just simply need to find the one that actually houses the attributes you connect to. In this case, it's usually the one that corresponds to the object name, which is our tr top level transform, which is usually indicated by a little uh, sort of white box with the arrow in it. Okay, so if I left click on this, you'll actually see all, all of the attributes, including the hidden attributes that you can connect to. Usually we only see the uh, top level attributes. In this case, the top level attributes would be, of course, scale, rotation, visibility, and translation. So like any other object, if I wanted to simply feed the output from one of these nodes into my cube, I can feed it directly into the top level. Let's say I wanted to feed its output into the input of the rotates. So I simply just make that connection.